Hi, I'm Steve Miller and welcome to this latest video of how I use DxO Photolab. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video. It's There's a, a new release of Photolab 9 out. It's uh, 9.2. There's been a couple of things added and a couple of things improved. So I just thought I'd, I'd show you um, those things on, that's happened on the update. It's a free update. It's just a... So the first thing is um, on the filters. If you go into the filters now, we've got, you can filter by unedited bit images, edited images and images with local corrections. So if I go, I'll just go into edited images and it'll show me these, the 13 edited images out of that folder. So if I turn that off, there's 142 images altogether, 13 of them edited. edited. And then we can do edited images with local corrections, which is only four with that have used local corrections. So that's um, nice to have anything that's added for free. It's uh, all this nice to have. Um, the other thing is the doesn't really affect me as a as a um, Mac user, but if you're a Windows user, the um, the history has been updated and I think there was a problem where is if you shut the the um, photo lab down when you opened it up again it had lost the history well that has been fixed I can't show you that because I'm not a Windows user so but another one the other ones are to do with masks um, I'll just show you on this this image the, um, they've improved the uh, masking. They say the matting on the masking has improved. So I didn't have any problems with it really. But if you can see this one, yeah, it does look like it's done a very good job there. Um, just with the... I'll just show you how that worked. You can just see it's picked up the, the fur around the uh, the edge of the squirrel there. So yes, that looks good. I didn't really have a problem with the masks, but yeah, they say it has been improved, so no reason to uh, doubt them. If uh, So yeah, another nice thing to have. And the other thing is, I can show you, is the mask organisation. So if you open this image up, um, if I um, I'll just create a couple of masks, one with the horse. Let's go back in a group over there, and then I'll do pick up the people. So we've got these two masks, but if I wanted to work on both of them together, now you can just draw, draw, drag and drop the masks around so now I've just got one mask with them two on which is nice to have it sort of combine that mask for me so that's uh, yeah I like that uh, idea that's that's very useful I'll just reset that now is I just thought I'd go into like a couple of things that I've found with the masking um, I, I'll be first to admit it's not perfect I found a few things with it but there's this ways it's just a bit of experience knowing you know what to do how to get around it so i used i've set up presets for yeah for my masks an animal preset and what i do is pick up the animal pick up the background and then add some local adjustments to them separately so it asks yeah it's like local like sharpening um just for on this fox and the background it it put a bit more noise reduction in the background and things but I'll just show you what the problem was if I go into that and I'll try and apply that mask that um, preset that I've created and for some reason you can see up here it's not picked up the animal and I found um, for some reason the animal mask doesn't like foxes and it doesn't like squirrels for some reason I don't know why but um, so my preset wouldn't work so I, I thought well how can I get around that and then what I found was, uh, I'll just delete them. Instead of using the animal mask, subject mask in the um, 
preset I use subject so I've used subject if I do that and this time you'll see it's picked the background and the subject just fine so what I found is for using the masks I use the subject masks which are found under here I'd use them more in presets any other time I, I use these this mode down down here where it's just like the picks the object for you or picks an area um, I, I don't know what it is like, it's like that for some reason another thing you can do you can hover over um, these and it'll tell you what it's going to pick so there it's, it's telling me it's going to pick that fox and it's picking the background all right if you hover over animal it's just not going to pick it up so that's a, a sort of quick way of seeing what it is gonna it's picked it up as hair by no is it no no faces it's picked it up as a face so if i used face why it do that i don't know so it's definitely not the the subject mask definitely aren't perfect most of the time if i'm if i'm not using a preset i'll just use these i'll just use this you know hover over or what i want to i mean it's quite easy just to make a mask of that and then you can come over here and duplicate it and you get that mask you can duplicate it and then invert it and as you can see as well it also renames your mask for you now if you duplicate it it'll actually rename it with a copy on the end of it so that's a you know that's a sort of thing that i do you know if if i'm using the masks a lot of the time i will do it manually less i, I mean because if you think about it it's not a lot different than uh if i go over here and i'm using that I have to sort of click on there, click on animals or whatever I want to click on. So you might as well just click there and then hover over what you want. And it, it's 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 just as quick to do it that way. And I've found you get better results. The only thing I would say, it's the these um, subject masks are good for things like this. Well, I, I like I showed you before. I mean, if I go in there and I could say, right, what's it going to pick up uh, as the, the subject? It's going to pick up the horse, the man, and the Land Rover in the background, which is not what not what I want. I want the horse, and and just this person. So I'll try again. Uh, what happens when I hover over? Yeah, it's going to pick up the horse, okay. But it's not going to pick up the person. It starts splitting the person up. So let's see what happens if I try and drag a box over at them same again it's not working very well so in this case what i'd do i go in and i'd say right let's pick the animal and then let's pick people and let's see if it how it does with people so that mask of the person the mask of the horse and now because you can drag and drop these masks now it's easy just to drag that person mask into there and you've got one mask so it's just a matter of sort of thinking of how you want to do, you know, do these things using the masks. Th things are a bit uh, quirky for some reason. I think they think this is quite a funny one, actually. If I go into this squirrel one, like I said, before it doesn't really like picking squirrels for some reason. If I hover over this, it'll pick it as a subject, all right, and it picks the background, all right. But it, it'll pick it as a person, but not as an animal. And it'll pick it as a flower. So I don't know what's going on with the AI there. So it. And it pick it as hair. So in this case, like I was saying before, I, d I mean, if I want to pick the, um, the squirrel and this mossy rock under it it's probably just as easy just to pick pick and drag and drop that there and then we've got a nice got a nice mask of that another one is the um i don't know that i've mentioned this one before in a video is the sky mask um 
especially when there's trees it's like with this I'll just show you what happens if I'll just hover over it and it should show us what's going to happen so it's showing you a hard line if I pick on that sky and then if I just as you can see it's not done a very good job there of, of the mask it's left a bit off the top for some reason and round the uh, the tree is not very good but I mean just because you've got AI mask, you don't have to use them. You could make a mask easy with a control line. So this, I do the control line and then you can just refine it a bit so you're not going to be picking up the, the folly of the castle there. So if I did that, uh, and that makes quite a good mask to work with. So it's just a matter of knowing when to use what mask really um we'll just go and try another squirrel let's say it's quite funny that uh let's see what it'll do with this when i try and use the subject it's it's not giving me anything as subject but it's giving me a person it's picking it up as a person not an animal So yeah, this is where I would just use the that method of if you wanted them to and then just drag and drop so you've got a nice mask. I mean you can see how quick that was. Once you get used to using it, it's it is very quick and it doesn't make good masks. But what I'm trying to say, I'm guessing, is just I wouldn't rely on this subject detect so much. I've never tried it that much with the hair and the faces and clothes, but I'm sure you know it it could be similar results. So really the only time I, I will use is the subject um, type ones is if I want to create um, a preset. I mean, let's see how my preset works with this one. If I use subject, see what happens. See, no, it's not. It's just not worked on that for some reason. I'll reset that. Let's try another image. I'm sure it'll work on this one. It's it's a bit. Try that preset. Yeah, it's worked fine on that. So what I found is it's just different, different animals. It's just uh, it's not a uh, the same for everything. Let's just see what it's going to do with these. See, it's not picked all the animals up there. But the subject does. So that's another one where you'd use subject. Or in this case, I probably, I just know by experience that if I drag a box over them. <laughs> now that is strange. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't expect that. I'll just reset that. Let's try again. Ah, that's what I was expecting here. Yeah, I thought the box would work. So that's just a few tips really, just to get you thinking of how to, to use these masks. But it's like, my, what my tip would be, if you are gonna use these uh, subject masks, I'd just use them in the presets really. Um, the other way it's quite easy to to create masks you know just by using these box selections or like item selections that i mean i wouldn't do that because it's just going to take you know too long you're going to have loads i mean you'd have to drag them all into one one mask so you wouldn't use it then but you could use the the box over them or like i say just use the subject which it seems to be more I get better results with the subject than I do the animal. Um, the subject seems to work for everything, um, all the animals, but the animal mask only works with certain ones. I'm sure this will be improved. Uh, they'll be looking at this all the time. Um, these things, are, you know, I'm sure they're looking in. It's hopefully they'll be watching this video thinking, yeah, we'll have to have a look at that. But 
I, I have just found foxes and squirrels for some reason. Don't know what it is. It just doesn't like it yet. As you've seen the hair, it picked it up. No problem. I'll just try it with this mink. See what happens. See, it's, it's picked. Or oh, did it? No, it hasn't. So it must have just been when I hovered over the subject that it was going to. What did it pick up? Because it did actually hover over there. No, oh, it's not picking anything up. So this is another one where. I mean, it's quick. It's still quick. It's. Doesn't I've got no problem with it. And. So they're just just hopefully that'll help. Um, the uh, let's say the, there's a couple of updates there uh, on uh, Portal Lab nine point two. Uh, don't forget I've got a discount code. You can get a uh, fifteen percent off any new purchases of any of the DXO products. Uh, and hopefully this has, video's helped a little bit with the uh, the masking. Um, and thanks for watching. Right, bye.